The place was heaving and they were all wearing rubber gloves. And of course I said, oh God, if you come to do the washing up. And there was pandemonium. People were scared. Tables and chairs were going over. I was doing the late show. And I'd only been in here about 10 minutes and a copper burst in the dressing room. And I, of course, thought he was a stripper. You know, the male stripper dressed as a copper. And they were so rude and so aggressive. And when I came out on the stage there behind me, they were all wearing, the place was heaving and they were all wearing rubber gloves. And of course I said, oh God, if you come to do the washing up. And there was pandemonium. People were scared. Tables and chairs were going over. The police were extremely aggressive. I went upstairs to Breda, the landlady, to tell her. And next thing, there's a load of coppers in her front room dragging her out, leaving the children behind. And God knows to this day why they raided it. And the only thing I can put it down to was we had a chief of police at the time who was homophobic. And of course, it was the height of the AIDS pandemic. So this was a perfect excuse for them all to come in and cause trouble. And there was no need for it. And funny enough, that week, I went up to Manchester and worked in another club and there was another raid in the same week. So it seemed to be the fashion at the time of these born again Christian chief of police who wanted to, as they called us, you know, the, the sleazy underworld of homosexuals. Does it look sleazy? <laughs> and I was called a lascivious act in the South London press, which to tell you the truth, I was delighted about. And I used that quote when I did the Edinburgh Festival. But well, police have apologised all around the world for the behaviour of those years ago and I think it's about time that the British police did the same thing, came down here and said we're so sorry for what happened because it was unnecessary and it was just a homophobic act and that was it and I refused to believe anything else.